today we are going to try to get my shit together. I wrote that I wanted to take a cold plunge every morning. Fresh flowers. I'm just venting my feelings because I haven't told my questions. If you need pre-workout, just text Jax, guys. This is the best thing ever. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Time is currently 7.30. Whoa, why do I sound like this? All right, basically, I'm gonna give you the spiel. Ew, when the f have I ever said spiel? So, for the past week, how could I describe it? I don't wanna say my life's been going to sh but my life's been going to sh Not actually, but in my head, actually. Today, we are going to try to get my sh together. I just know that if I continue this cycle of bad habits, my bad habits lead to late nights. And I, I just know that if I continue these bad habits, that my... I'm going to be depressed. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to be depressed. <laughs> Y'all know how that went. Cleaning my room at 2 a.m.? No, we got to stop. So I guess today we're going to be trying to figure out how to get my life back together because I don't even know, you know? But come on this journey with me as we both try to get our lives together, I guess. Or if you're watching this and your life is perfect, go you. But I'm literally on the verge of tears. I guess we're going to be trying to create new habits. I'm going to be referencing James Clear Atomic Habits book a lot because this book is literally my life manual. I live by this book. Yo, I live by this book. It's my favorite book ever. It literally changed my life and it's so cool seeing that everybody's buying it and posting it on their stories and tagging me. So if you guys buy this book, tag me and I'll repost it. But we all got to get on the same wave. Read this book guys it, i read it three times in the past six months it's that good all right let's just get started it's kind of a lumpy mess but we made my bed whoa don't mind the mess i wasn't lying when i said my life is going to shit. That was not intentional. My bad. Sorry, was that gross? <laughs> Something that I learned about creating new habits is that you gotta make it easy because as humans, we're creatures of habits, but we're also creatures of least resistance. So that means we try to take the easiest path that there is. So for me, when my food's not defrosted, I don't want to make food because I'm like, Ugh, that means I have to defrost it and it's going to take so long and it's just a lot of effort. So I just don't like to make food and then I'll just snack on bagels all day long. That means that if you're trying to eat food at home, go buy groceries, go order groceries, have your favorite meals already in your fridge, meal prep, something like that. Or if you're trying to go to the gym in the morning, take out your gym clothes already and put it on your bed the night before so that it's easy and accessible. I've honestly just been cleaning for the past like hour. One of the habits that I really want to implement again and that I used to actually do is not go on my phone until like 9 a.m. So I would have like three to four hours without my phone. And I feel like that was the most beneficial thing for me out of everything. And honestly, it's the easiest because it's just, you don't have to touch it. You know what I mean? Like go put it in a place where it's not accessible. So it's not easy. I said in my like previous videos, like months ago that I want to be the bitch with fresh flowers at all times. And look, fresh flowers. They're really crusty and dead, but it's the thought that counts. But look, fresh flowers. I am becoming that bitch. For like a month straight, I went to the gym about three to four times a week, literally like last month. So I've only been once this week and you probably can't notice, but I notice because I look at myself every day and also it's the fact that i've been eating like shit. so this is just like a whole lifestyle change that i have to do something that i also want to get back into is doing 12 3 30 which is like going on the treadmill every single day but i think that since it's nice out maybe i should go on a run even though i haven't ran in like a month but we're gonna try and see i hope i don't die not gonna lie like i'm kind of concerned about if i'm gonna be able to do it or not but we got to do it all right i'm gonna change see you in a sec look at me guys being clean and putting my stuff away while i am what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that I'm putting my stuff away instead of just leaving it on the ground. Cause I'm trying to like clean up after myself while I make the mess instead of after I make the mess, you know? Just like do it so that it doesn't pile up. I just did 12, 3, 30, but I'm gonna go on a run because I feel like it. But also I just texted my ex for the first time in five months. So I'm, I got some adrenaline in me. We gotta get our minds off of it. So I'm gonna go on a run. If you need pre-workout, just text your ex guys. It's the best thing ever. 
I just got back. I look inflated. It was good. It was very good. I ran four kilometers and it was the fastest pace I've ever done. I've never ran five minutes, but I was running five minutes, 54 seconds as an average pace. But usually I run like six something. So it was crazy. I swear the adrenaline worked and I was listening to classical music. It made me feel like I was in a video game and then I was like completing my task and I had to run faster and it was good though. I definitely want to run every day because that shit makes me feel so good. And I like forgot how it made me feel, but damn. Shit, I wanted to go to the cold plunge. Are you fucked? Am I for writing that down? What was I on this morning? I wrote that I wanted to take a cold plunge every morning. Oh, whoa. What was I thinking? How long do I have to cold plunge for? 10 to 15 minutes? I want to say, oh, hell no, nah, but I know that I should, you know? I really don't want to right now. I still haven't ate yet. It's currently 128. We got to do it, though. We're going to do it. All right, let me change. I am so ready. I love cold plunges. Cold plunges are the best. They are so good for my health, you know? I am very strong. I am stronger than my brain. It is all in my head. Let's hope that those affirmations worked. I don't know. I was just seeing them out of my ass. Okay. Okay. Help me out. tell but I'm pretty anxious right now but like I'm happy if that makes sense I'm not anxious because I'm like oh my god <sighs> I'm just like anxious but I'm happy right now also probably the fact that I text my ex as well I guess that means we have to break open a whole bagel. Oh no, what a tragedy. Bagels definitely are my bad habit, but if I eat them with something else, it's not as bad. You know what I mean? Instead of just eating a bagel, maybe eat a bagel with eggs. <gasps> oh my God, I almost dropped my bagel. I've been out of a rut. I mean, I've been in a rut of making no food. Like, I don't make food. I'll just eat snacks, I guess. But the thing is, like, I like the food that I make. Like, I think it's really good. I just feel like when I'm in a rut, I tell myself that it takes forever and that it's not worth it. And I forget how good, like, a full meal is. So I'm really glad that I made this. This is so good. Fresh parsley with three eggs and some feta cheese and salt and pepper. My bagel is a Dave's Killer Bread Bagel. Dave's Killer Bread Bagels have a lot of protein in them. I think this is 11 grams of protein with a little bit of butter and raspberry jam. Not me catching myself shaking. I'm actually so excited to meditate and I'm never excited to meditate, but like I'm really excited to meditate. I love how this video is about breaking bad habits and starting new ones and I talked to my ex. Out of all the days I could have picked within the five, six months, it was today. I always get DMs and it's like my, I text my ex, what do I do? Girl, I don't reply because I don't even know. You let me know when you figure out. And no, by the way, it was not the ex that cheated on me. Not that one. It was one that I never was official with and I never publicized it. I just say ex because it's easier than saying someone I used to talk to. If you do this, and they don't text back y'all weren't talking anyways and if they do great if you feel like it just do it but i don't think that that's good especially if you're in a toxic relationship definitely not good that advice sucks but this isn't supposed to be advice this is supposed to be a therapy session okay i'm just venting my feelings because i haven't told any of my friends I used to listen to morning affirmations every single day for like two months straight when I lived in LA. I don't do it anymore, but I want to start getting back into it. I would listen to it on the walk to the gym. So I think that I want to start doing that now. Listening to it when I cook or when I go to the gym. I used to never understand them, but some people say like, look in the mirror and say these things to yourself, but you're just like that same as like bimbo language. But if you say these things to yourself repetitively, it'll embed into your subconscious mind and then you'll believe it. I learned that from the book, the power of your subconscious and no, your subconscious and conscious mind, something I'll insert it on here. Basically, you're planting these seeds into your head. The more you say it, the more they grow. So if you're saying negative things, the more it becomes true. But the more you say positive things about yourself, the more it becomes true. The more you think about something, the more it comes true. I just meditated for 15 minutes, but then I ended up getting really sleepy. So I set a timer for 25 minutes and I took a nap. Surprisingly, I woke up. I feel like what I need right now is to just chill, relax, journal, read a book or something because I know it may not seem like a big deal to y'all, but I'm just 
very overwhelmed right now I feel like but not actually if anything I feel like it took away a lot of my energy and I need to be in tune with myself is the best way I could describe it is that's the feeling that I'm getting is that I need to really just chill but I think that meditating and taking a nap was very much needed I was gonna take a nap and just nap for like an hour but I was like I can't do that every time I do that I always regret it so I put on some cafe music made some tea or bought a journal read a book figure it out because right now I don't even know what I'm feeling two seconds later I really just said the big paragraph F do I cry should I cry like I don't get it Oh, I, should I force myself to cry? What are the odds that I literally write in my journal, is this the end of this chapter? And then boom, the glass, like something falls and the glass breaks. It's fucking weird. Y'all are probably wanting updates on text my ex. There ain't no update, y'all. This is the way I could describe it. It's just... Not like... It's just... You know? But... So I met this Italian boy that I was talking about. He invited me to go to the sauna, and I was like, uh, like, might as well. I'm, I go down there almost every night anyways. So I go down there, and like, we're talking or whatever, and... Why do men love talking about themselves so much? I swear. Did he even ask me a question? <laughs> There's just a lot to unpack. This was supposed to be a habits video, but I should make food. I'm gonna make food while we chit chat. I'm like out here asking this dude for his daily routine, and I'm like, okay, like tell me what you eat. And he's telling me what he eats, and like we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. And like I decided to add a comment that I like to eat bagel and smoothie. So that's the one comment I made about myself. And then the second comment that I made about myself was that I like to go out to go to the gym instead of going in the building. And he likes to go in the building, and he goes, Wow, that's a really interesting comment. Hmm. No, I really like that comment. What? Why are we talking like we're doing a fucking interview right now? Like, crack a motherfucking joke, my guy. Maybe I'm just being extremely judgmental right now. I think it's a me issue. I'm just like out here trying to live a fun life, okay? Because y'all know that I stay home, I don't talk to people, and I'm like, oh my god, my, you literally moved to New York to have a fun life, and you're out here. This sweet potato is like wrinkly and old as fuck but i want to eat it you know like it's so wrinkly you know i'm trying to live a fun life but it's just i didn't realize how hard it is to meet somebody that you actually fuck with not gonna lie i forgot because i just don't talk to anybody i guess right so in my head i'm just like Ew, this sweet potato is definitely old because why is it why is it turning green like that? Okay, I don't think I should eat this. Never mind. I was I was trying guys. What is this conversation going to? This video turned from a habits video to a therapy video. Enjoy. Oh my god, I was thirsty. Oh yeah, basically I'm saying that wow, I didn't realize how hard it is to meet somebody that you actually fuck with. Why are men so unfunny? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that comment as well. I just think that this one man is so unfunny. I don't know how I used to be in a relationship and not laugh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically I used to date somebody and we would never laugh. Like they never made me laugh, but I was so okay with it. This was a while ago, guys, by the way. One time I came back from hanging out with my friends and I was like, oh my God, like they made me laugh like so hard. Like I actually laughed so hard hanging out with them. And he got upset and I was like, why are you upset? And he was like, it's because like you never say that about us. And I'm like, because... Oh. You're not funny, bro. He was a great guy. He was a great guy. Like, I really did like him. It's just he wasn't funny. But now that I think about it, I'm like, oh my god. How was I dating somebody that didn't make me laugh? Now, I'm like, if motherfucker, you can't make me laugh. It's just not it. You know what I mean? Now, I know a lot of you are about to watch somebody like mine. I thought you did not want to date anybody. You'd be correct. I don't. Recently, I think that just like flirting with people has been real fun. Now, I got a comment on the spam account. It was from a male. And he said, flirting for fun is for hoes that end up with five kids with no baby daddy. Sir, was blocked from the account. Literally, by. Anyways, I just flirt for fun. But not gonna lie, it kind of makes me be like, wow, wait, is dating actually hard? Because I've never actively tried to date somebody, if that makes sense. Like, they always just like come out of nowhere. But I'm like, ah! I'm scared. I'm like, is this what it's always like? Let me know, by the way. Like, I'm asking you questions. If you can tell, I haven't talked to any of my friends lately because clearly I'm just telling y'all everything. But it's kind of fun. Why is my garlic growing roots, by the way? Do y'all's garlic grow roots or is my garlic old as well? Wow, does talking to somebody actually make you feel better? Because, like, me now verbalizing this to the camera, I'm in such a better mood. Thank you so much for watching, by the way, because without you, I think I'd be having a mental breakdown every single two seconds. Also, when I meet people in person, they're always like, wow, you're honestly a lot more shy in person.
like some people will meet me and then they'll watch my YouTube videos and be like, I was not expecting that in your YouTube videos. It's because my YouTube videos is actually me, but me in person when you meet me is extremely reserved and not actually me. Which is funny because usually people have the opposite problem where they can't be themselves on camera, but they can be themselves in person. But I am the complete opposite. By the way, fun fact, just thought I would let you know that you're actually my best friend. And I'm not saying that for like a money grab to be like, you guys are my best friend. All right, link in bio, go buy my merch. No, like you guys are actually my best friends. Guys, I love having these plants. It makes me feel so bougie. Like the fact that I'm just like picking fresh things to make my food. Oh, eating that shit up. Oh, like I'm just thinking about the fact now that like if you want to date somebody, you gotta like talk to different people to like figure out who you like. Like I've never had to do that before. But also, I'm not stressing because I'm not looking to date anybody. I'm just doing it for fun right now. But it's just making me think about the future. But I shouldn't think about the future because the future doesn't exist without the present moment, which is now. Food is cooking. I have 10 minutes to shower. I'm gonna quickly shower. Healthy habits, creating a good night routine. No more phone, guys. Airplane mode on. The more real that my vlogs get, the less aesthetic that they get. So it's either like you get one or the other, you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna take pretty shots and also tell you about like how I'm taking a piss. Um, anyways, I'm using the Hemp's Sweet Pineapple Honey Butter. I've talked about this in like every video. This shit's sponsoring. But a habit that I wanna create is moisturizing myself every night because I didn't grow up doing it like at all, but I feel like most kids grew up moisturizing their body, but I didn't. And now my skin is so dry. Like I can play tic-tac-toes on my legs by just dragging my nail across it. Like it's that dry that it'll leave a print. So I used to be a gross bitch. Well, no, I don't like to say that about myself because I used to be depressed. I used to be clinically so depressed, so it makes sense. But I used to shower maybe like twice a month. No, twice a week, guys. Not twice a month. Twice a week. Yes, shower. Like wash my fucking body. My salmon is all gonna burn. Oh my God, I literally don't have clothes on right now. I'm just running around my house. Guys, is my salmon burnt? No. <gasps> my eyes though. My eyes are fucking burnt. My fucking eyes. Crispy, crispy. Okay, I know I said that I put my phone on airplane mode, but I also want to make it a habit to talk to y'all for 10 minutes every single night before I go to sleep on Discord. I do it throughout the day, but I want to do it at night as well just to wrap things up. But <laughs> I said, guys, this is what I did today. I texted my ex. All of y'all are freaking out. Let's send them a selfie, guys. Cute, we're so cute. Join my Discord, I'll have it linked down below. If you guys don't use Discord, trust me, I don't fucking either. I didn't use it until I made this server. And I swear a majority of you guys on here don't use Discord either. You guys just downloaded it specifically for this. But basically there's like Instagram group chats, homework, book club. So like if you need help with your homework, you come on here. People in this community will help you. If you wanna join the book club, you can. If you want more followers on Instagram or to talk to new people, make friends, you guys can on here. Like we're literally always talking on here. This is not an ad. I just, you guys wanna make friends with like the people in the comments. Cause I I know people comment all the time, but like, what if we all were friends? This is what it's for. I'll link it down below, by the way. Or the spam account. If y'all want to know like real visual details, like right away, go to the spam account on my Instagram.